Thanks for watching this video. This is a two part video. In the first part, we'll take a look at how to build a basic custom integration template using the Informatica Cloud plugin for Visio. In the second part, we'll take a look at how to upload the template to Informatica Cloud and configure and custom integration task wizard. This is what the final result is going to look like. This is an aggregation template that we will build in this exercise. Let's open a new canvas by clicking the new button. As you see here, the cloud integration stencil with all the necessary integration transformations and data sources are shown on the left side. First, we'll bring in the source definition. The source definition represents a data source from any system. Next, we'll bring in the source qualifier transformation. And let's link them up using the link object. Double click the source to set its properties. There are two properties we'll set. One is the transformation name, which will appear as a label in the stance in the document. And we'll also set the source table. Note that we will use dollar signs in, in the name, and that would indicate that this, the value is a parameter. So the source, in this case, is a parameter that will, and the value of the source table will be, pro, will be provided later by the end user through the custom integration task wizards. Let's give the source qualifier label. And now let's double click the link object to define one or more link rules. The link rules define what fields are extracted from the source and propagated forward through the template in the data flow. The different options to providing the link rules, please refer to the provided documentation. Now let's take a look at some of these link rules. The all ports rule will get all fields from a transformation and propagated forward. The name port rule will propagate fields based on a name. For example, you can propagate a customer ID. You can also use the data type rule to, to propagate fields based on the data type. For example, you can propagate all string data fields. And then finally, the pattern rule allows you to specify a regular expression pattern to propagate fields based on patterns in the name, like suffix, prefix, etc. Now you can define one or more of these link rules for any particular link. And please refer to the user guide for more information on specifying the link rules. For this example, we'll use the all ports rule. This will ensure that all fields from the data source will be selected and propagated forward. Now let's bring in another transformation. This is the filter transformation. The filter transformation allows you to filter rows from the source data set. We'll give the transformation a, a label name. And in this case, the filter condition will be parameterized. This will ensure that the value for this for this condition can be specified later by the end user through the integration task wizard. We'll set the link rule to get all the fields to be propagated. Next, let's get the aggregator transformation. The aggregator transformation allows the user to specify 
aggregation operations such as sum, average, mean, median, etc. for the data set that's read from the data source. Let's link that up and bring it into the data flow. We'll give the transformation a name and we will parameterize the group by attribute. The value for this parameter again will be specified later. We will also parameterize the expression in the, in the aggregation transformation. This will allow all expressions in this transformation to be defined in the task wizard. Next, we define the link rule and we'll select the all ports rule again. Now we'll take the result set of the aggregation and write it to a target. So we'll bring in a target definition object from the stencil and hook that up using the link. We'll define the link rule to extract only the output fields of the aggregate transformation. The aggregate transformation has other input fields as well, but we want to get only the output fields, so we'll use the underscore out suffix using the um, regular expression uh, pattern. We'll save that away. And finally, for the target, we'll parameterize the target using the dollar signs in, in the name. And now we have defined the template. We can save this away. This will be saved as a Visio file which can be later open and edited as needed. We'll click the validate button in the button bar to make sure that the mapping template is valid. And then we'll publish the template before we load that into Informatica Cloud. When you publish the template, it is saved as an XML file. Now, we'll, pro we'll proceed to the second part of the demo where we'll show you how to import the file in into Informatica Cloud.